respected audience and my dear learners welcome to my presentation and take my salam assalamu alaikum I'm here today to speak about how to get fluency in English. My talk will last for about 3 minutes. And many of you already know that I'm Kazi Naim Siddiqui, the instructor of Lord History Institute. If you have any question, I'd be grateful if you would write down the question in comment box and I must answer the question. I have divided my speech into four segments. Number 1, the definition of fluency. Number 2, what are the problems in getting fluency? Number 3, what are the techniques to get fluency? Number 4, what are the teaching methods of getting fluency? Let's get started. You may have a question, what is fluency? What is the definition of fluency? What does it mean by fluency? Yes, the answer is, fluency means the ability to speak English smoothly, naturally, smartly, without any gap in the middle, without hesitation, and so on. Now moving on to the next point. What are the problems in getting fluency? We have been learning English from our childhood. But why we are not fluent? Why you are not fluent? Yes, the problem is we have fear, inertia, stumbling, mumbling, hesitation, then gap in the middle. And another problem is lack of proper English speaking environment and lack of proper practice and so on. Coming up to the next point, what are the techniques in getting fluency? What types of techniques or what types of strategies you may follow? Yes, I have some suggestion to you. The first one is CFA. So the elaboration of CFA is Communicative Fluency Activities. CFA, Communicative Fluency Activities. The number second one is repeating. Whatever you are learning, whatever you are achieving, just repeat it, not only one time, many times, as many times as possible. Then word lengthening group. Then three error process. What does it mean by three error process? Yes, repeat, recap and revise. Repeat, recap and revise. Afterward, UPP process. UPP process is applicable for all aspects of our life. For instance, if you want to be expert at anything, you have to follow UPP process. And UPP process means understanding, practice, perfectness. First of all, you have to understand what you are going to do. Then if your understanding is clear, if you have the clear concept, then you should practice. And after practicing, your perfectness will come. So this is called UPP process understanding practice and perfectness now moving on to the next point what are the teaching methods of getting fluency yes there are some teaching methods of getting fluency number one direct method what the English medium boys what the English medium children what the English medium teachers are doing yes they are following direct method they are speaking English the students are imitating the teachers and by this process they are learning that is called direct method and we have also learned our Bengali language by this process what is called direct method now another method is bilingual method moving on to the last point what should be your daily routine to be a fluent speaker because you know what is the definition of fluency you know what are the problems in getting fluency and also you have come to know about the techniques of getting fluency now this is the time to know about what should be your daily routine to be a fluent speaker number one listening if you want to become a fluent speaker you have to listen carefully you have to listen to bbc you have to listen to english music after listening you have to speak that means speaking try to make a conversation try to have a conversation with your friends family members and whoever you find so whenever you will start speaking, you must have some problems. What can be the problems? The first one, you won't find the exact expression, exact vocabulary. So don't be worried about your problems. It will be solved gradually. It's not a matter of one day, one night. You cannot be a fluent speaker overnight. Just focus on that point and keep practicing. Carry on practicing, I mean speaking. After doing this, take suggestion from one of the experts of English. 
for solving your problems. And if you can do all this process, I can give you the guarantee you will be a fluent speaker in English. Thank you so much for watching the video and keep connected with me. I will be uploading the new videos to you. Assalamu alaikum.